Hey guys, one big issue for new OBS users hoping to begin a career in live streaming is that their video and their audio are out of sync. In this video, we're gonna discuss three different ways to fix this issue, ranging in difficulty from very beginner to slightly more advanced beginner. Let's check it out. All right, for the first technique, we're going to use two things. We're going to use OBS with a microphone and a webcam. Audio desynchronization, as it's called, happens because video takes longer to encode than audio. So typically what this means is that audio will come out in your live stream before the video and it won't quite match up. So if you've seen in uh, on a movie set, they use that thing called the clapper. We're going to be simulating what that does except using our hands. Okay, so let's jump into OBS. Okay, so we're in OBS. I have a microphone set up. You can see my levels here and I have my webcam set up. It's my Logitech C920. So we're going to start a recording and clap our hands in front of our face like this. Once you've done that, all you have to do now is watch the clip and see if it matches up. Okay, so you can tell that the audio was actually coming a little bit before the hand clap, okay? So for this first technique, all we're going to do is go back into OBS and we're going to try two settings. The first setting is going to be 150 millisecond delay, okay? So click on this cog here, this is the settings. Open up advanced audio properties. And right here for the audio input, this is probably your microphone. Change this value to 150 milliseconds. This is just a good place to start because it's a very common value for your video to be behind your audio. So now that you've set that, you need to record the same clip over again with your hands clapping in front of your face, like this. Okay, so just like the last time, we'll watch that back and use our eyeballs and see if it looks good. So that was really close. You could tell that was that was almost right on. Okay, so we're gonna just adjust it a little bit more. We're gonna head back into the settings, advanced audio properties. Now that 150 millisecond delay, we're gonna change that to 220. That's the second most common delay, okay? Let's change that to 220 and try it again. Start a recording. Couple of claps. And just like before, watch it back. So that was really close. That's good enough that I would actually feel comfortable live streaming with that delay. So all I've done is check how bad the desync is, try 150 millisecond delay, and then try again at 220. So I happen to know that I'm still a little behind and in the next technique, I'm gonna show you an example to get this even more dialed in. All right, the second technique is a slightly more advanced version than the one we just used. This time, we're going to use a tool by the guys at Ballast Media. We'll link their channel below. They invented this really cool video clip that has a bouncing ball, just like the clapping hands, except this time, it shows the millisecond offset measurements below like a measuring tape. So this will help you identify visually what your video audio offset may be. So for this, I've set my sync offset back to zero. So back in the advanced properties of the audio on OBS, I'm back at zero and we're going to start fresh. So the plan is for me to hold my webcam in front of my monitor while playing this clip of the bouncing ball. So this one is pretty straightforward. 
the ball will touch the bottom line just as it clicks, okay? So we need to look at the video and determine where the leading line moving toward the center is located on the graph when the click happens, okay? So I'm going to record it once, we'll watch it, and we'll see if we can determine just by eyeballing how far offset my audio is. So that actually looks pretty bad. The audio is coming way before the video. You can hear the click before the ball touches down on that line, okay? So uh, as you can see, right here, that's when the click happens, right there. The line is passing over the 400 millisecond bar. So let's go into OBS and let's set our audio sync offset to 400 milliseconds. Now that we've done that, we can do the same exact thing. Hold the webcam, point it at the monitor, and play the clip and check it out. So you can see now that with a 400 millisecond offset in OBS, the clip is lining up naturally with that ball bouncing. You can hear the click and the ball is bouncing perfectly. So it seems like we're in sync. Okay, if what you see is making you happy, then you don't need to continue watching this video. Technique three is slightly more advanced and it's really only for those of you that need it to be exact down to the millisecond, okay? So if you've gotten value out of this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more of these really beginner level tutorials. For those of you that want to get really granular here and really nail it down to the millisecond, by all means, continue to technique number three. Okay, so if you're still here and you've decided to continue watching, then that means you want to get really granular and figure out exactly how many frames your audio is offset. Okay, so for this, we're going to be using video editing software. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve. It is a free video editing platform that's actually one of the most powerful out there. Don't know why it's free, but I definitely recommend getting it if you don't already have something that you prefer. Now, um, we're going to start the same way we started with technique number one. We're gonna do little clappies, okay? So go into OBS, start a recording, look at your webcam, four claps, and now you have the clip that you can watch and check for audio desync. Just as we expected, the audio is out of sync. So let's go into DaVinci Resolve. The first thing you're gonna to want to do is add that clip you just made to your media pool. Next, add it to your timeline. Okay, so here you're going to see your, uh, your video and your audio wave, okay? Set the playhead just before the clap on the audio waveform, and we're going to count frame by frame using the arrow key, the right arrow, and then we'll do the math. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And there, my hands are touching, okay? So now we know it took 12 frames before the video caught up to the audio. So let's open up our calculator and we'll do a little bit of math. So first, since we're filming in 30 frames per second. We know that every frame is 33.33 .33 milliseconds, okay? So we need to take 33.33 .33 milliseconds times those 12 frames. And there you have 400 milliseconds. So if you paid attention to the last technique, you'll remember that 400 milliseconds was the offset from when we eyeballed it using that little video clip, okay? So head into OBS, set the offset sync to 400 milliseconds or whatever number yours is, and you'll have perfectly lined up audio and video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was very easy to understand. I know it got a little bit advanced there at the end. If you have questions or if I perhaps glazed over something a little too quickly as I tend to do, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, if you got a little value, throw a little thumbs up on there. And don't forget to subscribe for some more beginner level tutorials. Thank you guys.